political efforts to legalize retail cannabis dispensaries in four South Bay Beach cities have devolved into what one consultant referred to as a knockdown, drag out knife fight mired by personal attacks, infighting, and a bitter recall attempt on a city councilman. At the center of the controversy is Elliot Lewis, the CEO of Catalyst Cannabis Company, a self-described scrapper who isn't shy about his propensity to respond with verbal punches when challenged. His detractors blame his antagonistic style, which includes posting expletive-filled takedowns on Instagram, for the resulting fierce opposition from local officials. And they say his brash personality has prompted early supporters to distance themselves from the initiatives now. One of the petitions, presented in El Segundo, crumbled, in part, due to the infighting. Lewis acknowledges his personality likely played a role in the escalations, saying he maybe uses a few too many F-bombs, but says that's just who he is. I really think we're the good guys getting improperly labeled as the bad guys because of our style, Lewis said. He alleges bad intel led his side to believe their cannabis initiatives would be welcomed by the elected officials in El Segundo, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, and Redondo Beach. It was a tried and true formula that had worked elsewhere, and voters in the beach cities were strong supporters of Proposition 64, the 2016 measure to legalize cannabis in California. In the best case, a favorable city council, or at least one that sees the writing on the wall, can chose to adopt a certified initiative once it is presented instead of sending the issue to voters. That's what happened in El Monte when Lewis and Catalyst filed a voter initiative there. Despite similar accusations of bullying, Lewis and his allies ended up nabbing a sizable chunk of the licenses as well, including one later awarded by a judge due to errors in the selection process. Our goal is not to go to the ballot, or if we're going to go to the ballot, for it not to be content. If that strategy worked, it would have saved the proponents a lot of time and money, they've independently spent nearly $1 million combined on the initiatives and recall, according to campaign filings. But contentious might be an understatement to describe the fight now. Each of the beach cities targeted by Catalyst has either filed its own ballot measure, including one to continue an outright ban in Manhattan Beach, or introduced separate ordinances to regulate cannabis in the hopes of appeasing voters. Redondo took the additional step of placing the cannabis initiative and a recall of one of its councilmen funded by Catalyst on a special October 19 ballot, a move that has drawn allegations that officials are intentionally trying to limit the number and type of voters who will show up, 